Hello everyone, Tammy Dazzle One here, bring you bring you back more Kingdom Hearts for each and memories. In the last episode, we finished up Sora's story, but we are not done yet. We still got one more thing to do. And this is and this is Riku's story, Kingdom Hearts, Reach and Memories, Reverse, Rebirth. This one is pretty short, so hopefully it won't be as much editing as it was as Sora's story was. So hopefully I the only thing I really I'll cut out this time around is only the exploration and the exploration, the fights, and the leveling. Why the leveling this time around? Because Riku doesn't really get anything all that special when it comes to his levels. So the only thing I'm gonna cut out was the exploration, and then cut you know, cut right to the boss. Like, because Riku, why Riku's side is pretty short. You'll see why in a in a bit. So yeah, let's stop talking around. Let's stop messing around and let's start Riku's side of things. Alright, uh, I also decided though, I'll, I'll mute my mic during the cutscenes, so that way you guys, you know, actually hear the cutscenes without hearing, like, the background noise of, like, me breathing, or, well, I, uh, well, I wouldn't say me breathing, more like just the noise of, like, the, he the heater in here going off, and, uh, the console, but, yeah, I'll just mute my mic after I pick these settings. Alright, so, so be it's pick your vibration options, beginner mode, please confirm your settings. And I'll be right back, all right, after this cutscene. Where am I? Stay asleep. Huh? Who's there? You should remain asleep. Here, between light and dark. Between what? Uh, huh? The king. Where's the king? Together we close the door to darkness. After that? You came drifting here by yourself. You did not have the strength to overcome the darkness. Or, maybe you were close to it. <laughs> As if I'm some kind of demon. <laughs> Turn from the light. Shut your eyes. Here, blanketed by the darkness, sleep is safety. Sleep is eternal. But... It is a door to the truth. Take it and your sleep ends as you take the first step toward the truth. But know this. The truth will bring you pain. Will you still go? There is no return to the security of sleep. This seemed like a boring place to take a nap anyway. That was very well said, Riku. Truth, huh? All right, I'm back. Uh, and with that, now we have the our first room card, which is Hollow Bastion. Wow, Riku's really starting off right, the, right at the hard part, huh? <laughs> so yeah, if you look at the little, at the lower right corner, you'll see that there's some, that thing that says B12. We're starting off in the basement, the levels of of uh, Castle Oblivion. Where Sora starts off on the first floor, Riku starts off from the basement. <laughs> Rik Riku's in the basement <laughs> forever. This is where Riku belongs. <laughs> but no, just, I, no, it's just like, 
yeah, it's different, definitely, with uh, Riku's side uh, starting off here in the basement, like the lower levels of uh, Castle Oblivion, yet he's starting at like one of the harder worlds in the in Kingdom Hearts 1. Alright, let's get started with Hollow Bastion. Give me that card. Also, this this uh, this little uh, story here, uh, also I'd like to call it by another name. I can smell the darkness. Why I can smell the darkness? You'll see why in a, in a while. Because <laughs> Riku has a particular line he likes to say a lot during this campaign. <laughs> this is Hollow Bastion. What you see is not real. It's the world to your memory. My memory? The things you remember from your time at Lifson's Castles come a card. And that card has made this world. You've seen everything here before, haven't you? Yeah. So what now? Am I going to learn something? Maybe meet someone? You would meet the people in your memory. Ordinarily. What does that mean? Hey, I'm asking you a question. Fine. But it better be you it better be you I run across next voice. Key beginnings. Alright, so Usually this is the be the part where I cut, but there are some things I want to show off though where it comes to Riku's side of Riku's story. First and foremost, let's go let's look at his deck. Riku cannot customize his card deck. He must fight with a he might he must fight with a provided deck. The cards in the deck will change as Riku advances through the game. So basically here we no longer have to worry about our CP, our uh, card points. We don't have to worry about what cards we get. We don't have to worry about any of that. Only thing we do need to worry about is what cards they give us. There's a particular world later on. I'm pretty sure you guys, if you guys play this, you know what, what I'm talking about. Which has a deck that's particularly infamous. <laughs> but uh, we'll get to, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So yeah. Riku doesn't have any friends because he's a lonely sack. <laughs> he doesn't have any abilities. Riku doesn't get like any. Uh, uh, Riku alone doesn't get any like abilities or slates. He doesn't have. Hell, he doesn't even have a cure spell, which is kind of weird to me. Where, but you'll see how we heal later on. But first and foremost, let's get into a fight and show you guys how the combat works. Also, look at Riku's thing. Notice that there's no real counter. What, this is why I prefer this story so much more, because that way we don't have to worry about the shitty slow-ass reload timer. Oh man, it's so it's so much better to use. Like it? Take this. Take this. Oh, I think I might level up. Yes. Perfect opportunity to show you guys what we get for level ups. Okay, okay, so for Riku, when he levels up, he has the choice between one of these three things. Uh, he gets HP boost, normal, normal affair. He gets an attack boost, which I fe think, if I think correctly, I think attack boost basically increases Riku's attack. And basically he can attack harder. Uh, so, then darkness bo boost is, uh, well, you'll see what that is. I'll tell you guys that later. So let's go for attack boost. Extra strength is always good. <laughs> oh that! Oh no no no! <laughs> Pose Riku did. All right. Well, with that, I will uh, I will cut. I will cut off. Uh, hang on, no. You... All right. I'll be right back. As soon if what if uh, I can't talk today. Ugh. What the hell is wrong with me? Uh, but. I'm going to cut off now, and when I get back, we will begin the next part of plot. So, be right back. Okay, and okay, I'm back. Uh, Alright, so now we all we have to do is put in one red card, I'll put in this, and I'll put in this. Also, I got a round joker in between, in between the cut. So, 
Huh. Oh, there's no. I, I don't think there's any like really bad car doors in here. So I don't really need to worry about not wasting it. Everything is just how I remember it. Even this room. It must be nice being back in your old bedroom. Think of all the memories. You again. Sorry, but these memories I could do without. Maleficent gave me this room. So she did. And you lived here, tempted by the darkness she offered. You can cast away your hope, your friends, everything. But at least it gave you a nice room. Stop talking. Ikea guidance. Okay, uh, and time for another cut. And I'm back. And what? <laughs> Good thing I got some ring cards. <laughs> Alright, uh. I'll probably use this one. And then I'll use this. There we go. GDS like that. Let's continue plot. Yay, plot! No one here either. There's nothing but heartless in this castle. Voice! I know you're watching, so explain this. Where are the people from my memories? Do you want to see them? Of course I do. But you cast them aside. What? You dreamt of the outside world, and you pass through the door of the darkness. Behind you, you left family, friends, home, everything, all in pursuit of darkness. But I cast that aside too! And what do you have to show for it? First your home, then the dark. Your heart only knows how to cast away. It's empty. You like that room. You like your memories. That's why you don't meet anyone. Your heart is hollow, except for the residual darkness. You're wrong. I rejected the darkness. <laughs> Did you really now? And key the truth. And with that, I'll be right back again. So, time for another cut. And I'm back. Uh, there we go. Okay, I'm back. Uh, Alright, so now we got the... So now it needs a 5 and above... I'll use this, and then I'll use this. Okay, now time for a boss. And Riku's fights in this game, well, at least in the world's base, anyway, it's about it's the same bosses as Sora's, for the most part. You know, there's one where it's different, but all, that's the only one. Otherwise, it's the same fight Sora's fought as Riku. I knew you would turn, Riku. Listen, you're alive. You haven't been paying attention. I'm but a figment of your memory. All the people I had to run into, it could, had to be you. But of course, after all, you, your heart is steeped in darkness. You can only see those who exist in that same darkness. No. Be grateful for your servant to give you company. Your heart is empty. Were it not for the darkness it contains, you would be completely alone. That sounded pretty good right about now. Come now, you once turned to me to sate your hunger for darkness. You want me here, but who can I but who who but I can grant you the darkness you long for? There was a time I did want you around. I surrendered my heart to the dark. But never again. You and your darkness have nothing to offer. All I did was lose myself. Empty myself. I'm finished with all that. I'm stuck seeing people like you, people in the dark. I'll take you out one by one. Then you mustn't forget to destroy yourself last. For me, for like me, you are one of the dark. That's fine with me. I turned to darkness because my heart was weak. I hate that weakness. It's like I'm my own enemy. 
and seeing people like you embrace the darkness just makes it worse. Enough talk, Maleficent. So you hate the darkness enough to fight it? Oh, the agony you must feel. Then let me end your pain, Riku. End it forever. With this wondrous power of darkness! Alright, so now basically Dragon Maleficent. Same as before. <laughs> but only this time is Riku. <laughs> That's the only difference. Wow, really? Thanks, Maleficent. Thank you for breaking all my cards. So, you stupid. Oh, right. Uh, Mickey, the Mickey cards. Well, I mean, well, the Mickey head cards, anyway. Not Mickey cards. Basically, the, the things that usually let you have, like, have something to help you out during the fights. You know, even then, like, Melissa hasn't breathed a fire breath yet. Well, then again, I, I could change. Or not. <laughs> And that's that. <laughs> wow, not once. Like, she about did, but I broke her. <laughs> that? Oh my god, another Mickey car was just about to spawn in before I killed her. <laughs> Ooh, sweet, level up. And I also got the Maleficent card. Also, uh, another thing, uh, when it comes to the boss cards, Riku gets those automatically, so we don't need to equip them. That's good. Okay, so let's go for attack boost. Oh, I thought it might have been a cutscene after that, but nope, that's it. <laughs> as soon as I defeat Maleficent, that's it. Okay, so okay, so now we just need to find our exit. I think the exit is right here. No, no, no. Oh, wait, no. Key of Beginnings. Oh, wait. No, wait, no, it's, it's over here, I think. Yeah, I guess, like, once you, uh... Yeah, because, like, once you, um, defeat a boss in a world, uh, you're not taken to the Conqueror's Respite like Sora is. You have to find it. Like, you have to find the route to the Conqueror's Respite. Which is kind of weird, but, eh, I'll take it. Thankfully, this one wasn't as hard to find. So, let's go ahead and save that shit right now. And, yeah, made it look like I've only been recording for about 10 minutes. <laughs> Actually, I've only been recording for 34 minutes. <laughs> because... Because I, because of editing. Thank, thank God this isn't gonna be a pain in the ass edit as I thought. <laughs> Why do you shun the darkness? <laughs> Come on, I know you heard me. Every word I said to Maleficent. Darkness is your weapon. It is time you learn. Must accept it. How about no? What do you mean? Stop resisting. Accept the darkness. You have no choice. If you are to serve me again. And yep, there is Ansem once again. Uh, this time not voiced by Billy Zane. In fact, he's voiced by Richard Epcar. This th for for this game and the rest of the Kmart series, he's voiced by uh, Richard Epcar. Which, I'll be honest though, when it comes to voice acting, uh, I think Richard Hart does a, does a better answer than Billy Zane. I don't, worry, I don't mind Billy Zane as an actor, but I feel like uh, Richard Hart knocks it out of the park as Ansem. I thought it was you, Ansem. Oh, you don't seem surprised. All you have been talking about is the darkness. I can only assume you want to pull me back in. So you can play. Uh, yes, I want I want you to become the darkness again. I love being. I loved possessing you, Riku. Please let me do it again. No. Aww. Puppet master. I know I said I'd mute myself, but eh, that, I decided, meh. Yeah, probably not. Besides, I, I like talking like during the cutscenes and stuff anyway, so I, I won't mute myself. I only wanted to mute myself for that opening cutscene. But I'll, I'll be quiet though. Clever boy. 
I knew you'd be the one to most appropriately serve me. And now, surrender to me again. You're crazy! Not a chance! Besides, I think I probably get like some of the better jokes out if I friggin' uh, if I just if I don't meet myself during the cutscenes. I mean, what's the what's the, what's the point in meet myself? I you hear guys and I can hear the good shit. <laughs> Did you really think you could do me harm? A weakling like you could even defeat Sora, and you had darkness on your side. He you was you were a pathetic loser. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Excuse me for being weak. I am not weak. Oh, come on, don't pull that infinite shit on me, Riku. <laughs> you are weak. You need darkness. Surrender. Bow to darkness. Bow to me. <laughs> What's with Anthem's eyes? He looks so high right now. It's like, surrender to the darkness. Surrender to me. Give me weed. I need drugs. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Only the darkness can offer to you all of the strength that you will need. You're wrong. Oh, who is that? That voice. Your Majesty? That's right. Remember, Riku, you're not alone. Uh huh. Oh, we thought you guys wouldn't see me in this game, huh? Even though I'm on the box art. <laughs> God, my making voice is getting worse. <laughs> Listen close. The light will never give up on you. You'll always find it, even in the deepest darkness. I got it. I won't lose to darkness. Not today. You think that feeble little light can save you? From the darkness that I command. And now we got a, well, I wouldn't say a fight, more like a tutorial. More like a little tutorial fight with Ansem. You shall feel the darkness everywhere. Oh God, give me all you got. I'll give right back. Basically the tutorial is one of the next th few things. Uh, I'm trying to break his card. Come, Guardian. I'm trying to break his card. Uh, Ansem, are you gonna do something, dude? Rapid break. Quickly break the opponent's car for a boost and attack. Okay. Not giving up yet. I wonder how much this you can take. I'm just gonna. I'm just going along until you give up. Sh uh, sh okay. Show the same value card as the opponent and press triangle. Okay. There we go. Break all opponent's cards. Basically for this, you got a little card duel. So once you do that, just lay the smack down on your opponent. Duel system. Show the same value card as the opponent's and break press triangle to start. Break all the enemy's cards to execute a slate. But you will need more than eight cards. Basically, like, 
Basically, as soon as you, if someone, if if an enemy or a boss shows the same value of cards you have, if you show, if the boss shows the same value of cards you're about to use, use it, and you can execute the the dual command where you got to break up as many cards as you can under the time limit. And if you execute it perfectly, you'll execute a slate, which is highly damaging. But if you don't, you're gonna get stunned. So make sure you use the right amount of cards. <laughs> you got it seems to me that you are intent on resisting the darkness all right then see it for yourself huh? this is a card crafted from your memory advance through the world it creates and soon you will understand chasing after light is not the way it will not give you distance from the darkness there is no running from the darkness. Don't worry, I'm not running. Give it. I'll enter the world. Give me, give me the damn card. But it's a, it's a collector's item. No, I don't care. Give me the damn card. I need it. World, and in the end, if I haven't given into the darkness, then I win. I have one more gift for you. What'd you do? I simply tempered the darkness that yet remains in your heart. You still think that I'd rely on darkness? To use it or not is your choice. I'll be waiting, Riku. For you to sense it. And yield to the darkness in your heart. Riku learns D mode. Basically, what D mode is, it's uh, remember that one thing I was talking about when I was talking about the leveling up with the darkness boost. That's what the, the, this is for. Entering, activating dark mode. Dark mode can be activated when you have accumulated maximum dark points or DP through card breaks. In dark mode, your skills are powered up and you have more slates to choose from. DP is lost when your card is broken or you receive damage. Riku returns to normal when your DP reaches zero. So basically, you can have upgrade your darkness boost in order to extend the time you have with the your dark form but unfortunately is uh, where where answer says use it as you see fit unfortunately it, it's automatic like as soon as you it, break enough cards Riku transforms into his dark form and uh, it's a really big problem though if you have a Mickey card if you need to heal and you're about to use a slate in order to have Mickey Mickey heal you that's going to be a big problem. <laughs> and then you transform to that, and it immediately removes the slate. It's like, it's like, like damn, cards didn't even exist. So there's definitely pros and cons in order for these, uh, for some of this. Alright, we also got the usual affair with the cards. So let's go ahead and continue up on another floor, shall we? No. <laughs> what is going on here, Zaxian? I want an explanation. Nice to see you too, Vexen. It's such a shame. The organization used to be the rope that bound us together. You're only number six. How dare you? Let it go, Vexen. <laughs> How fucking dare you? I'm number four. Douche. <laughs> Visitors, I picked up two cents in the castle's lowest basement. One of them was Maleficent. Don't be absurd. The witch is gone. She cannot return from the realm of darkness of her own volition. If you would let me finish, the scent belonged not to the real Maleficent, but to a very convincing double. But I truly cannot say much beyond that, since the double is no more. Our other visitors saw to that. A 
and who is it? I do not know for sure, but the scent was very similar to that of the superior. And yet, not exactly the same, was it? This truly makes my curiosity. Now, what to do? We wait, see what develops. Something smells funny. That's it. That there is a line. Why I say that? Because every time in this game, when Riku said, and every time in this campaign, Riku, oh, every time he senses something, he goes, "Something smells funny. I smell the darkness. Dark. You smell the darkness. Smells nothing can block out the smell of darkness. It's just like Riku. Are you a part bloodhound or something? What the hell is with you constantly smelling darkness? Like." What's he even? What's this darkness even smell like? Or like really bad perfume, like deodorant, something? I don't know. Axe? Smell like axe body spray? What's that scent? It's so familiar. Darkness. It's the smell of darkness. Smell darkness smells. Darkness smells. believe this is happening. Darkness even seeped into my skin. Ew. <laughs> Don't worry, Riku. You know you smell like darkness. I mean, you are darkness. Here, try this light cologne. <laughs> Your Majesty. Yes, it is I, Phantom Mickey. Haha. <laughs> see right through you I died Riku I died funny huh I can only send a bit of my power to this place that's why I've got a request for you request listen Riku just because darkness holds you don't let go of who you are you've got to fight the darkness inside you it won't be easy to do I know but please don't forget, even in the darkest darkness, there's always a little bit of light. Light within darkness. You and I have seen it. The far welcoming light inside the door to darkness. The light of Kingdom Hearts, it will show you the way. Please don't give up, believe in the light. That's a request from my heart. Okay, I'll do my best. Trust me, I'll try to find a way to reach you. I'll get there, I promise. You can only tell that this, uh, the actor for Mickey Mouse here is definitely kind of losing his touch with his voice. Like, like, it doesn't even, like, really sound like Mickey much. Like, you hear, like, some of the, oh, some of the inflection in his voice, but now what's kind of sounding like this? <laughs> but... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, this is definitely before the actor uh, Mickey Mouse here definitely passed away. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's because one of the the Mickey Mouse actors, uh, the Wayne Allwine, I believe, if I remember correctly, yeah, I if I put it butchered that last name, I apologize, but uh, I think he passed away after uh, three five eight over two days. So this is definitely a point before he uh, he passed in. Uh, you only tell he was kind of losing his Mickey voice a bit. <laughs> oh. You're an illusion. Don't worry. We shook hands in our hearts, remember? We're connected, you and me. Yes, we are. And now we got a Mickey Mouse friend card. Basically, Mickey is going to be our heal. Basically, our cure. Uh, but you'll see why. Uh, actually, actually, hang on. How long, 
How long has this session been going on for? Like, I know it's been going on for two minutes here, but I just want to see. Oh, yeah, that's probably good. This is probably a good stopping point. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I'm going to end this episode off here. Uh, I think for this set, for this game, for this story, though, I think I'll probably do maybe uh, two worlds an episode. Poss yeah, two worlds an episode, three poss t uh, three most. Because, like I said, this campaign is fairly short. The worlds especially are really short as well, so I mean it won't take much. I mean the only thing I'll really edit out is me getting, like me fighting, edit, and getting to the room itself. That's the only shit I'm gonna leave out. Only stuff I'm gonna leave in is the boss fight, like me opening up the room and me fighting the boss, and then cutting back, cutting back to the uh, the conqueror's respite area, and then go on from there. So yeah, with that I'm going to end this off here. On uh, the next episode, guys, the the first world we're gonna go to. Um, as Riku is, I'm gonna head to Agrabah so that way I get the Jafar card, to because like I said, that Jafar's the Jafar card has the ability that let you uh, pull off your attacks without getting uh, card broken. Ah oh, shit! <laughs> well, I guess it's, I guess it's probably <laughs> even roll up play stopped on me again. Well, even it knows that's not time to be in this. So yeah, the next episode, guys, I'm gonna head down to Agrabah. And um, uh, get the Jafar card and possibly go to know what after that. So, yeah, like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys next time.